Let's see how to create a balloon pop game. So using animate action script 3.0. So we have already uh, uh, assets ready with me. I have already assets uh, you know, with me. So let's see how to create that uh, the balloon pop game using animate. So let's go to that animate and create a new file action script 3.0. So let's make the dimensions as in 19, 20, 1080. You can take any dimensions, create a new file. And let's import the background. So I have already background image. Let's change the layer name as in background. Let's import the image. Go to that file and import, import a stage. Choose the image. Import it. Perfect. So let's log the layer and go to that library to create an empty movie clip for total entire game action script. Balloon pop game and export for action script. Click OK. This is just an empty movie clip to apply the action script. Let's go back to the stage. and save the file. Let's name it as balloon pop game. I'm saving the flash file. Let's go back to the movie clip and right click on it and say edit class. So you can see the action script class. So let's save this file. So we are saving this as an action script file dot yes. Please save it in the same folder. All right. The public class is ready with us and we just need to create one empty movie clip to add the assets would like to have the balloons right so create an empty movie clip and say balloon mc export for action script click ok and now we'll import the image balloon image into it so let's select the blue image and adjust the position accordingly i'm adjusting the position according to the registration point the linkage name is balloon mc We'll make use of balloon MC to create instance in action script. So let's go back to the main class and let's create an instance name for it. So we can create that instance name and then we need to use add child method to add it to the stage. So let's say where and let us take the, let us define instance name. It is our own name. You can define any name here balloon mc blue and uh, let us take the linkage name as an object type so balloon mc let us say balloon mc equal to new balloon mc so this line will help us to create an instance of the object or a balloon so it is just creating an instance but we just need to uh, we need to display it on the stage to display it on the stage we need to use add child let us go back to the public function and we can say stage dot add child and the object name balloon mc blue let's save it and create another layer in the source file and drag and drop this movie clip action script movie clip on the stage this is very important. Save the file and check the preview. You can see the instance placed on the stage. So by default 0, 0, 0, position. Now let us see how we can animate this object. So let's take the balloon uh, object name dot name equal to, we need to define the name for it. So for future reference. So let us add an event listener for this to update the position of the balloon. Let us say balloon MC dot add event listener, which will help us to add an event for it. So we are going to make use of enter frame event to update the position continuously. The function which is going to be assigned to that event frame will be executed continuously. So let's say add event listener event dot enter frame and then the function name update position okay. 
So we are just defining the function name and then event listener. So we just need to add the event library on the top. So flash dot events dot event. So to make use of this event uh, event, so we just need to add the library top. So let us define the function private function update position. Function name is update for position. So we need to define the event type also. Event type is event. And let us define the properties inside the function. So what would you like to do that? Now would like to update the Y position. Let's say E dot target is more than enough to identify the object because I'm writing and I'm assigning that uh, function to that same object. So to refer it, I can say e dot target dot y minus equal to two, and then play. You can see it is going up from the current position. So we need to define the initial position bottom. So let's say object dot y equal to thousand eighty, so that starts from bottom. You can see that starting from the beginning, starting from complete bottom. Since that uh, stage is 1080 height, I'm just taking it as 1080. Change the speed and check the preview. You can see it is decreasing the position for five pixels for every time. Now check the condition. If it is going out of the stage, then it is supposed to start from this uh, scratch again, from the bottom again. So I can say that even the target that Y is less than zero then we can reset the position y position back to 1080. Let's copy that statement and paste it here. So better to say that either target instead of uh, instance name, you can see how it is. So as soon as it touches in the top and then it comes from bottom, you can see that now. Let's check the dimensions of the balloon. So because it is as soon as it uh, the balloon top touches the uh, stage top, it is coming down. So the balloon should go completely out of the stage. Then it should start from the bottom. So change the value and then you can see here. So now complete balloon goes out and then starts. Yeah, you can see it. So instead of zero, that I set minus one one zero because height of the balloon is one one zero. Now let's take the random x position. Every time it is starting from zero, x position y thousand eighty, right? So let's take that random position of the x. So we can use a random method to generate random values. I said random into 1920. So every time it gets changed, first it started from here and you can see second starts from there. So that's all. You can increase the speed to see the cycles. So minimum is zero, maximum is 920, 1920. So to change that minimum as in zero, that we need to define that minimum value there first. So let us define that minimum value and then plus and the maximum value. So that, you know, instead of having that minimum value and zero, we can add have something. 80 is minimum and maximum is whatever you define it. Maximum becomes 1840 plus 80. Minimum is only 80. So let's save the file. So before checking the preview that you must save the action script file, that is very important. Let's see now, uh, let us add another event uh, for the same balloon because when user pops it, so it should get disappeared and we need to see the score also. First that let us see how to make it disappear or how to start from the scratch again. So making it disappear is nothing but 
So we need to start the balloon again from the bottom. So we can use that mouse event for it. So let's use uh, add event listener and event type is mouse event and event is mouse down. So when we click on it, right? So let's say mouse down and define the function name for it. Let's say balloon pop. So we are just defining the function name. We just need to define the function now. So let us define another private function. Private function as balloon pop. Function name as balloon pop. And now define the properties. How do we check it? So we just need to know the name of the balloon which we are popping it. Then it is possible for us to check the condition. So as soon as we know the name of the balloon, we just need to store it on the variable. Then it is possible for us to use it in the condition. So let us define a local variable where and the variable name as an instance name and then get the name of the instance then we can write the if condition let's say instance name data type string and let's say e dot target dot the property is name so which will help us to find out the instance name of the object then write the condition there so if e dot target dot name is double equal to instance name So we're just using that variable only for this function. That is where we defined it in inside the function inside the function. So we can call it as a local variable. All right. So name equal to instance name. So what do you want to do? You want to change the position again? I mean, just we need to reset the y position back to 1080. And then either target at y. So because this I'm going to use as soon as condition satisfies. So it must be Y, it is not X. E dot target dot X also suppose it, it, it shouldn't start from the same position every time. So random X position. Let's take that same function or same line as in that math dot random. Just mouse even library is automatically added there and test the movie. Whenever you pop it, it is starting from scratch and random exposition that you can see here. So sometimes it is going out of stage also. So we can adjust it. We can we can get it done. You can see as soon as you pop it, it start, uh, starts from scratch and random exposition. Close it and then let's say uh, adjust the value. As I told you that it is it shouldn't go out of the stage. So just adjust the value there. So it was 1080 and then change the value there. You can see. So most of the time, I mean, it, it, it don't it don't go out of the stage that it will be always within the stage itself. That you can see here. And now let's go back to the source file and let us import that one more movie clip for the scoreboard. So as soon as we uh, uh, tap it, 
it should increase the score. I'm just importing that one design into the movie clip. This is just an image. Take the image, adjust the position. But we need one uh, input field. So later we'll take it. The name of the movie clip is Score MC. Linkage name is Core MC. Let's go back to the action script file and create an instance of the same. Similar like our balloon, we can create an instance of the movie clip and we can use that add child to add it on the stage. So linkage name is Score MC. Score MC dot Score MC is equals to new Score MC. So we can use add child method again. Stage dot add child and score MC. Save it and check it. Oops. So we just need to change the instance name. So linkage name and instance name is not supposed to be the same. Let's say score is the instance name. Linkage name is score MC. Check that now. Yeah, image is available. Let's change the position of the scoreboard towards right side. Change the exposition of the object score dot x equal to whatever it is that 1920. Check the preview. All right, perfect. So we just need to take that uh, one input field inside the movie clip. So let's go back to the source file, double click on the movie clip and take one text field. And type of the field is supposed to be input. And change the necessary properties, font, color, size. So we just need to embed this font to carry the same styles on every device. So it is always better to embed the fonts do the necessary changes Let's go back to the action script file and we need to assign the value now we need to display the value inside that input text field so to define the value or to display the value inside the text field we just need to define one variable and then through that variable we can pass the value onto the text field so I'm defining that one global variable, which is SC as a score, default value is zero. Now let us assign this SC value to the text field, which is inside the score MC, score movie clip. Score dot, to read that movie clip, uh, sorry, to read that input text field, we just need to define the address properly. So since that input field is inside the movie clip, first we need to define the movie clip name dot the text field name and then property. So that's how we need to define here. So the complete path is necessary to identify the object. So score dot instance name of the movie, uh, the text field. So we forgot to apply the instance name there. So let us define it there and then we'll update it from there. So score txt dot text as a property equal to variable name sa. But the number will not be assigned directly. So we need to convert it, this into a string. We are just converting the data type, not changing the value. So let's go back to the source file to apply the instance name to the text field. So movie clip, select the text field and apply the same instance name, which it was there. Yeah, score txt. So make sure that it is supposed to be the same. Save it and check the preview. You can see that default value is zero. Change the alignment to center. Check the preview, save it and check the preview. So now we just wanted to increase the value as soon as user pops the balloon. So to display that increased value, we need to update the variable value first, and then we need to update the value from the text field. So SC plus equal to five, every time it, it should increases that five value, five points. And then let us update that, you know, the SC value from text field. 
So as we def define the default class, let us repeat the same statement here. Right. So let's say copy paste. Right. So we'll just check the value here. As soon as we pop it, we can get the score there. It is increasing every time. Yeah. Let us close this. No, no, let us import other uh, the balloons also even. Let's go to the library, create a new movie clip and import other balloons. I have uh, different colors of balloons with me. So let's say red balloon and export for action script. Okay, so import the image. All right, so adjust the position accordingly. Align to stage. Left and top, yeah. Linkage name of the balloon is red balloon MC. Similar steps like whatever we did for balloon blue balloon that we need to apply same steps to a red balloon also. Let us define an instance name a red balloon because the linkage name of the balloon is red balloon MC. Let us not to take that same name. Let's say red balloon. And the instance name, I mean, uh, the, the linkage name is red balloon MC. So equal to new red balloon MC. So instance is ready. We just need to add it on the stage. So let us make use of the add child method. Check the preview that you can see zero zero. It is added at zero zero. We need to change the positions, default positions, and we need to apply the name also. Red balloon dot name equal to red balloon. Now update the position like X position and Y position. random let's um, apply the update position same same function we can make use of same function for this balloon also. But only the thing is that we need to repeat the add event listener statement. We can use that same function. So as soon as you add it, and then you know it gets animated. So let's just save it and check the preview that um, balloon gets animated automatically. Wow. We can see that. So both are getting started from same 1080. So let us use that math, uh, you know, random function even for that also to get a different uh, position. So because both are not supposed to be, uh, we can start, we can start them at a time, but should start from the different positions. Should start from the different positions. So we can make use of that random function minimum and maximum values. Yeah. 
there's no fixed value that you can keep trying and then whichever suits and then you can continue with it i'm just saying that random into 200 plus 1080 let's see how it works we can see the difference but not much so let us increase the value make it 500 now that you can see the change yeah i think this works all right we need to apply that pop function also for this mouse down and pop so let us copy paste and then change the balloon name mouse event and mouse down you can make use of that same function if you want to go with that same properties so on click on each balloon so from each balloon that you get five five marks that you can see score score is getting updated five five pixels but now you know what i would like to have the negative marks that when i click on red balloon then let's change the function name we need to define this new function let's copy and paste the existing function and update the function name Paste the function now and change the name of the function. Red balloon pop, yeah. So now I want to change the score as in minus five. So let's update the score value. Just change the variable name as in minus equal to five. So let's update that y position to that random also. That was updated on event frame. Now we need to update it in pop function also. Let's save it and check the preview. You must save the action script file to check the updates. Look at that, it is minus five and zero. Yeah. So when we click on blue button, uh, so blue balloon, we get that plus five and red balloon minus five. So this is how it is possible for us to have the different functions and different values for each balloon. Let's take another balloon here. So I would like to take the golden color balloon. So name it, import the image and highlight before that highlight export for action script and because we are going to use the symbol for action script so import the image adjust the position left and top go back to the action script file and do the same process again you need to repeat the steps defining instance name and adding uh, it to the stage using add child method and updating the positions all are the same again so whichever you require i mean then you can always change the properties but other than that remaining steps are the same methods are the same to display the golden balloon on the stage So make sure that again instance name and the linkage name are supposed to be different. Let's copy paste this complete uh, four statements and you can update the object name.
All right, it is uh, it is it is done. That add child is done, and we just need to add that uh, the uh, same function. Let's see. Let's start with the same function. If required, that we can change it later. Oh, password is here. So to download that source file, after downloading that, you can use this password. Okay, we can see the basic movement. I mean, basic animation of the red balloon or golden balloon. Sorry. Let's let's have the different uh, score value for the golden balloon. So I want to use the different uh, function then. So as I told you that you know if you want to have any change, then we must have a separate function for it. So let's copy that existing function and paste it here and change the required properties from that function. First, update the function name. And we are looking for score score of rate. So let's make it plus equal to. So how much would you like to increase? So I wanted to increase it for fifteen. So it's a lucky balloon again. Would like to treat it as a lucky balloon. Yeah, fifteen sudden update that you can see. Minus five plus five and plus fifteen. You can see that three balloons, three different values there. Let us make it a little faster. So it shouldn't go with that, you know, the same speed. So since it is a lucky balloon and shouldn't be available as simple as you, you know. So let's update the function name and let us create a different function. As I told you that, you know, change the property. So then we must have a new uh, function. So my function name is update gold position. Let's copy paste that uh, the update function. So copy paste. Comments are very important in the code to understand. Even for you, further, I mean, just you know, after a long time, that if you come back to the file and that you should know why is that function for, why is that statement for. So paste it and uh, change the value. So we'd like to have that speed as in 15. So look at that. Oh, function, we are not updated the function name. We just copy, copy and paste it there, but updated. The, not updated the function name just say update gold function yeah update gold function you can see that speed is increased so it is not that easy to catch it but it's valuable and golden is something different yeah so 15 and 25, or you can check the speed with the different numbers, whichever that you are okay with, you can freeze it. So we'd like to have a different uh, speed. There are two, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, two ways that we can, I mean, just uh, two places that I want to, uh, I need to update have the different speed so now it is always the 25 plus 25 right so i would also minus 25 sorry yeah 25 pixels is uh, you know is the speed of the balloon but every time even if i pop it even if if even if it crosses the stage that it is starting from bottom with the 25 speed i would like to have that random speed to to to, to have that random speed we just need to create a variable and uh, so whenever it crosses the stage as 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 well as that you know whenever user pops it the random i mean uh, this speed value should should get generated again with a random function and then we need to update it with speed so what i did is uh, I, i'm i'm creating a variable and i'm putting inside the condition but so local variable will not work we just need to define that uh, the global variable let's go up and then define the variable on the top so let us say create uh, creating a variable in the global 
so let us apply the initial value here initial speed value later we can regenerate with that uh, math dot random function so speed default you can just define the number 25 is default okay so speed default is the default name so sorry a variable name which we need to use it here so let's say in the place of 25 you can replace with speed default right so here also speed default and let us define the uh, let us remove the data type and uh, keyboard variable right you can see this here so whenever it crosses the stage and then restarts speed is getting changed that is fine but once we pop it then also i would like to have you know we are we are having that uh, the statement inside the condition only from update position minimum is 15 maximum is 25 right check this one set every time starting it from uh, i mean uh, starting uh, with the same speed because the statement is updated in updated update position not in the pop uh, function we just need to replace uh, uh, we need to define this here also in, inside the condition and the pop function. All right, now even if you pop it, even if it uh, crosses the stage, then both the both the times, I mean both the uh, places, so it will generate the speed. A random speed value and then it gets random speed there all right let's go back to the source file and then uh, import other images also other balloon images like green brinjal i have other two so follow the same steps to import all the other balloons also import and then align it to registration point and top and then yeah so we can see this so create a new movie clip again change the name export for action script click ok import the image all right let's go back to the action script and follow the same steps so creating an instance adding it to the child adding it to the stage using child object child method and changing the positions adding functions these are all the same again as i was mentioned if you need any change then only that we need to go with that new function or else we can use the existing functions itself right copy paste because we need all the statements to be applied for every child object change the child object name green balloon even for bell beer balloon all right let's apply that even listeners enter frame as well as mouse down so would like to go with that you know the same functions don't want to have that any uh, variation here if you need that you can always have the variations so as we mentioned that red and gold both are different from the regular so we can create functions similarly if you need any change or else you can apply that same functions here 
Right. So we can see all the balloons on the stage now. So for each balloon, uh, it gives you five marks. It gives you five marks and the red balloon minus and then the golden balloon 15. So this is how it is possible and easy to create that balloon pop game using action script 3.0 using animate and we are going to create welcome screen and the timer and other uh, stages from part two we'll see the we'll see all of them in the part two so keep watching let's meet in the next video thank you for watching